Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you along here on a ride along with the mighty Gator Unleashed again. We're on a Sunday. Um, today is January the 8th, I do believe. <coughs> 2023, excuse me. Oh, haven't done anything on Walmart ammo in some time. Um, I really haven't done anything on it because I've not been buying any ammo at Walmart. Um, they went up on their shotgun shells to the point that I could buy it at my local gun, st uh, gun store just as cheap. And actually a Fiocchi brand, probably a better shotgun shell. So, um, I mean, it's like $10 a box at Walmart now for the cheapest uh, 12, 12 gauge and 20 gauge shells you can get. They might, those other ones might be eight ninety six for the cheapest. I'm not sure. Um, I think that's what it is. Uh, that's here in London, Kentucky now. There'll be a little difference, just a few cents. Uh, from what I've seen at these Walmarts, but regardless, you can buy shotgun shells for that at your at your local gun shop, you know. So uh, there's been nothing appealing at all about ammo at Walmart. They quit selling nine millimeter ammo, the uh, pistol ammo. They quit selling all that stuff. So there's been no advantage to going. Um, there's not been any thirty thirty or thirty out six ammo on our shelves at Walmart that I have seen in several years at least three or four years um now i asked the guy this morning when i was at i went to walmart this morning and uh long story short they had two boxes of 30 out six ammo um and i bought i bought them both these was 24 these was 24.96 a box um and i come home and i don't have a lot of 30 out six ammo I've only got one 30 out six though, um, and I really haven't deer hunted in a while. But they've changed the box. I noticed. I bought these at Walmart years ago. This is a box I hadn't even opened. Um, I keep my ammo dry. I keep my ammo stored and safely and everything. So um, I've always had the uh, mindset that you have to have ammo for your firearms, um, and that's kind of an example there. But I don't have a lot of 30 out 6 ammo. I found one box of 30 out 6 ammo at the local gun shop about probably four months ago and paid like, it was right around 40 bucks for it. Um, it was a Remington. Oh, so when I saw that at Walmart this morning for $24.96 a box, I was tickled to death. Uh, they did not have any 30-30. And as I started touching on, haven't seen this in, in our Walmart here in literally years and years. Um, now they got plenty of 22 long rifle ammo at Walmart and, and different choices. Um, I like 40 grain, 22 ammo, um, 36 grains fine in a little revolver or something, but I, I like 40 grain really is what I like. If you do have some kind of little semi-automatic pistol or something, many of them will say in the book to use only 40 grain ammo. That extra four grains weight makes a difference, um, on your ability to, to cycle that round so uh so i like 40 grain and walmart has the federal 40 grain those little i think they're 325 round boxes for 21.96 and you know we can all live with that i think we can live with that and they've got plenty of them um it's weird it's weird how this ammo has been you know uh, evidently the 22 long rifle shortage is is evidently whipped for now uh, because they've had <clears throat> they've had literally shelves at max capacity full for six, eight, maybe even a year at the Walmart in London, Kentucky. Um, don't see any 16 gauge, little 28 gauge, uh, but they had a pretty good selection this morning. They had all kinds of 270 ammo. Um, they had some of that 350 Legend. I, I don't really that's something I'm not familiar with. Back when I grew up and when I was hunting, you know, everybody had a 30-30. That's what just about everybody had was a 30-30. Um, a lot of people had a 30 out six. Some people was just 270 was just starting to kind of come out. And a few people would go get those. Um, and then on a rare occasion, somebody you'd run into somebody with something like a 243 with some kind of big special round or something they would deer hunt with. Uh, I just got me a I just got me a 30 out six when I was young. I don't I don't remember when or how old. It was in the early 90s. Um, I just think a 30 out six is the perfect round for deer hunting. 
But anyway, just wanted to touch on that a little bit. I don't really have a lot for the channel here uh, or for this video. I think I'm gonna do a. I think I'm gonna do a video on my Savage 30 out six though. This has led me. This this has inspired. Um, if you notice on some of my videos, I always talk about thought pr promotion. Thought promotion seems to be something that we've lost in our society today. People are just like zombies. Um, you know, there's all these shows about zombies. It's real popular, like the, you know, The Walking Dead. Um, I recently watched the, uh, um, what's it called? Not House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones. Uh, that turned out to have the uh, Winter Soldiers, the Winter, um, <laughs> the the Winter King. You know, they was like zombies. Our society is our, our society. People just don't think about anything. They put this crazy stuff. I, I, I turned on Yahoo. Uh, I turned on Yahoo. The website Yahoo at work the other day, and it said that the the title was McCarthy confirmed as speaker. Now this was the same media that was all for McCarthy. Um, it's funny how they work. I guess they was afraid they was going to get a true constitutional conservative in their speaker of the house, so they was all for McCarthy at that point. But once he was sealed, he is a Republican, you know. So immediately the narrative changed, and the title on Yahoo was. McCarthy confirmed as speaker, and now the American people will pay. That's what it said. That was the exact title on Yahoo the day after McCarthy became Speaker of the House. Um, and now the American people will pay. You know, and I, I, th I thought about that. And I broke it down and started reading. I, I actually opened the link and read some of it, and, and it was uh, just the most awful wild bunch of foolishness you can possibly imagine. But I was sitting there thinking... The Democrat-led House and Senate and Democrat President Joe Biden less than two weeks ago passed a $1.7 trillion bill that has almost nothing in it to help the United States of America. Almost nothing is even about the United States of America. Uh, there was money in there for Michelle Obama's trail um, I think the numbers was $45 billion for Ukraine. Um, there was money in there for just, just all kinds of pet projects and things. Um, and there was some stuff for road construction and some things for America. But I, I was just thinking about that. Yahoo just put that headline out, and now the American people are going to pay since we have a Republican Speaker of the House. But if you have a little bit of ability to uh, promote thought on your own with Democrats in control, I believe the Americans are going to be paying for quite some time for that $1.7 trillion bill they just signed. And it was only a few months ago, if you remember, they passed another, I think it was $1.7 trillion bill. Remember the bill that they had all given up on because the, the Senator Manchin was just, they couldn't get him on board. We went to bed one night, talk about this bill. It was dead in the water, had been dead for days. Manchin wasn't having it. Then we got up the next morning, and Manchin had signed on, buddy. It was a miracle. Praise the Lord, they said. It was a miracle, you know. This man had a change of heart. I don't know this. This is an opinion. YouTube creators, um, you, any, any soft, fragile person that is offended by me having this opinion, I think they bought Manchin's vote. That word I like to float around, logic. It seems very logical to me that a guy that we watched interview day after day after day, a hard no was a hard no on that bill a few months ago. Just overnight, this guy, bam, he was on board. And even the liberal media was like, what happened? Where did this come from? But they give it no time. They give it one minute the next morning. The bill was signed another one point seven trillion. So there's three point four trillion the Democrats have added on to we the people in just the last uh, four months. So Yahoo's headline that read McCarthy sworn in as speaker and now the American people are going to pay. Don't you just have to laugh about that? Is it not hilarious? Is it not so crystal clear? crystally clear, obvious, what total horse crap that is. 
It is to me. But it goes back to uh, thought promotion. You have to be able to have some thoughts on your own. You know, if you're a zombie, if you watch every episode of The Walking Dead and really like those zombies, maybe that's what Yahoo's counting on. Maybe that's what they're counting on, and maybe that's why uh, that's what they think is going to cause people to run right back out there in 2024 and vote for Joe Biden again, and and all the Democrats in 2024. That they're going to just look at that headline and say, well, you know, this is what it says on the web. It has to be true. We're going to have to pay now because we've got a Republican Speaker of the House. It's just hilarious. But anyway, I got way off track there. But it all stems from thought promotion. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got this morning, guys. I'm going to do a video on my Savage 30 out 6 here before long, probably today. Um, i got to change the file set and do some stuff, though. May tell a little deer hunt story. May start telling some stories on here. May do another movie video we're gonna do, or movie uh, spotlight. A lot of stuff going on, guys, with the Mighty Gator Unleashed. Wanting to get my old car started today. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the garage or not, though. These Sundays, it's nice to be lazy. But anyhow, guys, everybody enjoy your day. Um, the second half of this weekend, let's enjoy it. Um, if you believe in God and pray, I think we should all pray for the country, um, pray for the world. Pretty bad place. Um, I don't know what it's going to take to get it lined out. So it's, it's bigger than I am. I, I really can't. My mind, as a guy that is uh, always commenting about being logical and rational and uh, uh, having the ability to uh, promote faults on my own, I can't imagine what it would take to unite these people um, other than long decades, at least a decade or more of hardships. That's what brings people together is hard times, <clears throat> people helping each other. Um, I may be wrong, though. There may be some other form of uh, unity out there that I don't know about. I'd, I'd, like, to see, I'd like to see the country get united <clears throat> in a patriotic way. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, unite with people that wants to put Ukraine before America. I'm not going to do that. If that's what it takes to unite, well, then we're not going to be united. Not going to be united. But I hope we can. I hope we can unite. Um, everybody have a great weekend, guys. We'll catch you on the other side of another video coming up soon. Peace out.